Hi you guys, I'm Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I hope you're excited to get some inspiration and motivation for sewing this month because I've got a few plans of things that I'm going to be working on. Um, so I'm going to jump right into it today. Um, I took a trip to Hobby Lobby and I don't normally shop there for fabric, but I had noticed on social media a few people finding some pretty decent looking good quality fabric there so I thought I would go check it out largely I was not <laughs> overwhelmed I was underwhelmed but I did find a couple of things that I did really like and the first one is this knit um, it's a bit of a jersey knit but kind of on the more stable side 100% um, cotton I believe well cotton jersey um, and I just thought the print was really adorable. It reminded me a little bit of art gallery or something like that. Um, so I picked that up and I plan on making Simplicity 1613 out of this. I want to try this version. I'm trying to find some knit shirts that aren't basic t-shirts that are knit so they're comfortable and they're cool in the hot temperatures but they aren't just so basic and I thought that this was a really cute option um so I'm excited about trying that and I just think out of the floral it'll be a really sweet looking knit top so that is my first plan also while I was there I found this and they've done stuff like this in the past where it's literally you know hemmed for lack of a better term on the bottom and then the top is um what is that sheared I guess it is and then they just cut off your yardage here and so literally it's a one seam skirt or top um, I haven't 100% decided what to do with it yet, but I just thought it was a really cute color and the embroidery on the bottom is really sweet and that if it became what it obviously should be, which is a skirt, that would be good. But if I could find a fun way to make it into a cute top, I would try that too. So yeah, I just picked up one yard of it and it's a bit on the pricey side. I feel like it was like $13 a yard, which isn't a ton, but I mean, it's not fantastic quality it is pretty see-through <laughs> the light definitely shines through so yeah I'm not 100% sure um, on what this is going to be but I want it can't take long so I'm going to try and get this sewn up in May as well um and then I've been working on a little black dress I've actually already cut it out and started on it um, it is a Lisette pattern, Butterick 6168. It's the one, the dress version, the one the woman is wearing here. And I'm just making it out of some black sateen. Um, like I said, I've already started cutting it out, so there's not much to show you in my little bin here. Oops, actually, that's for another project. Hold on, this is what the bin really looks like. <laughs> Just a bunch of cut up black fabric. I am um, finishing off the seams with bias tape. Not all of them, but like the facing. This is what I've gotten done so far. Um, this is the inside. And so the facing has just this little black and white dot um, on the edge rather than just searching it. I thought since it's black, might as well try and make it as special as I possibly could. So again, that is Butterick 6168. Lisette out of black sateen. Um, also, they finally released the Sew My Style pattern for May. And it's a deer and doe pattern, myostosis or something like that. I can never ever pronounce their pattern names. Um, so I'll be making that. I really love the version, um, with the bell sleeve and then like the ruffle hem. I really love that version a lot. So I think that's what I'm going to be making. I'm tempted to just knock off their cover art and make it out of like a white shirting or something. But ironically enough, for as basic as a white shirting or any kind of shirting would be, I really don't have fabric like that in my stash. All my stash fabric is prints or not the right weight. I don't have a whole lot of really good solid shirtings. So I'm going to go try and find something good for that. I might end up getting a gingham. I think that would be really adorable. 
Um, I've also toyed around with like some special kind of trim for the hems. I have a lot of ideas floating in my head for that one. It's just such a great, cute little pattern. Um, I'm just really excited about all the different options and just how just un apologetically summer is going to be. You know what I mean? I just, it felt very airy. It felt very light. It felt very comfortable. I'm really excited about it. So I still have to go shopping for that one, which is kind of disappointing because for some of my style, I really try not to buy fabrics. I try to sew for my stash. Um, but that one's just going to be too good to just randomly pick a stash fabric. You know, I really want to be very intentional with it. So I'm excited about that one. My refashion for this month... <laughs> is going to be made from this. This is a gigantic uh, denim button-up dress. Uh, this has got to be from the 80s, 90s. I'm not sure. It's got huge sleeves. I mean, it is like mid-calf length, um, heavy-ish denim button-up. It's a lot. But... That means that it is a great canvas for me to do some magic. So I hemmed and hawed about what to do. When I was in the store, I originally thought, oh, I'll just make it into a shift dress. And the more I thought about it, the more I said, you know what? I want to make this into an overall dress. Um, so I got the Tilly and the Buttons Cleo pattern which is adorable. There are some amazing versions of it online that makers have made. Um, so I'm going to be cutting this up to make the Clio. I'm going to maintain the center front. So my Clio will have buttons going down the front, um, which I think will be a cute little detail. Um, and then I do want to use the overall buckle rather than the button. Um, option that she has. I just need to see like if I can find some that look okay. I mean this is a pretty standard antique brass button but I just want to make sure they don't clash too too much. Um, push comes to shove since it is button up and I don't actually need those to function. I could um, take them from the sleeves, the buttons from the sleeves. I know that once I pull the post apart from the backside, I know that they aren't going to be functional anymore, but I could figure out a way to like, I don't know, rig it so that this looks like it's the button piece. Again, there's still a lot to sort out there, but um, I do think that this is going to end up being um, the Clio, and I'm really excited about it. Not so excited about piecing all that together because um, it's a PDF pattern, but at least it's just mostly a skirt and a bib and you know, not sleeves and it shouldn't be that much of a pattern to put together paper-wise, you know, from the PDF. Um, I just don't prefer that. Like when I got the um, Deer and Doe, I just ordered the paper one. It's going to take like all month to get here. It'll probably be something I sew the last week of the month. Um, but it's just so much better, I think. I don't know. I just don't really like piecing together PDFs. And I don't like patterns being out of paper. Other people don't have this issue, obviously, or they trace them and they don't have to work with the paper. I know that there are solutions. I just just want to get right to the sewing. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, let's see. What else? Okay. Um, is that it for... Let's see. I have a little list over there. I got that. That. That and that. Okay, so the last thing, actually, I'm going to be sewing some stuff that's not for me. Um, and I'm really excited about it. A little hint is here is one of the fabrics. Um, it's Sonny's birthday this month. He is going to be 12. He's not in here. Otherwise, I would show him to you guys. Um, but he's going to be 12. So I thought it would be really cute to make him a birthday suit. Um, which is kind of like ironic because for humans, a birthday suit is you're naked. But since dogs are naked all the time, their birthday suit is when they actually wear clothes. These are the little things that I daydream about. Anyways, so I saw on the Cricut Design Space, um, you know, for the maker, they have a collaboration with Simplicity, where Simplicity patterns are already loaded into the design space. So literally all you have to do is cut out like a rectangle of fabric, slap it on your mat, stick in the machine and simplest the the machine will cut out the simplicity pattern for you and they had some little dog clothes <laughs> 
So I made a muslin because that's what a professional sewist does when they're working for their client. Oh, it was on the floor. Um, and I wasn't sure, like I'm trying to like measure his little like waist and his little neck. And of course he's like fussing around and he's like, what are you doing? So I made a muslin. Here it is. <laughs> it's so stinking cute. Um, this would be his head goes through here and this is his body with his legs and he would be walking around like that. Um, and it was a little bit too small, um, through the waist I guess and then these two that are supposed to overlap with like velcro just barely touch so I needed to add something here so that those will attach and then I played around with adding just strips of fabric which I think is actually a really good solution because he's a boy those of you that have boys you know they aren't the best with keeping their um number ones uh, um aiming in a good direction and a lot of times when he wears clothes he gets them dirty very quickly just by going to the bathroom so i think this would be a good way to prevent that because it's just such a thin little strip and he doesn't pee on his stomach you know so this should be a good solution for that so i went to joanne and i got a bunch of fun dog fabrics like this one has like a cartoon type dog with tennis balls and bones and hearts um this one just has dog feet um and then i got some that i thought were representative of his personality like this one is monsters which i thought was really cute and then i got some that i thought would be kind of like what a human little 12 year old would wear so this is like a little pretty like denim floral I don't know I just got a bunch I was kind of going crazy um so my plan is to sew up a bunch of these I'm not gonna do the little leash tab because um he is litter box trained and he does not actually go outside on a leash he we don't really do that and when we go on walks he has like a collar that we use I don't need to have this little thing on there so I'm gonna leave that off and I'm gonna um have the Cricut also cut out some iron-on vinyl and I got a ton of cute little sayings from Etsy um things that are intended for little boys like onesies but I'm gonna put them on Sunny's clothes so we'll see how many of them I can make um and then we'll give them to them give them to him for his birthday and I think that he will really enjoy them I hope he does I enjoyed brainstorming about the idea of making my dog clothes for his birthday um but you know that's what you do when you don't have human children you have furry kids or I only have one um but you know our years are numbered don't get me talking about it I will cry on camera um so I just you know really want to cherish him for as long as I can oh my gosh I told you I cry about it every single time anyways <laughs> Ah, oh, that is it. Those are my plans for May. I'm going to go get myself together here and not think about my dog passing. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about them. I think it's going to be a really fun month of sewing. It is me made May. So I am posting all of my um, outfits that I'm wearing every day. I'm doing the weekends too. And then I'm going to post a compilation video of the previous week here on YouTube as well. So each and every day they'll be on Instagram. And then once a week, there will be a weekly roundup for lack of a better term, um, here on YouTube. So look forward to that. Um, in the meantime, let me know what is your big plan for this month? Um, is anybody out there sewing wedding dresses, like actual wedding dresses? I know that wedding season is coming up or bridesmaids dresses. Anybody working on that? Um, I would love to see, I don't know, to me that concept is just so crazy to make a wedding dress, to make a dress that is so meaningful for one day. I don't know that I could mentally get myself there. But either way, let me know what it is that you're working on this month. Um, I'd love to hear about it. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.